Hello! How are you? It's Brandon from i3D Themes and i3D TV. December 2nd. Wow, we are just over four weeks away, I guess, from 2017. Is your website ready? Is it using a responsive website layout? Nope, might be time to upgrade. Has it got engaging content? Nope, might be time to look at that. Now, the last thing that I'd like to mention is, is it blazing fast? And I'm going to get to that in a second here because we're going to address that. So this week in the design labs, Colin had a number of projects that carried over from last week. I believe it's five major projects. And then he had another two begin this week. And so he has been very busy with that. And he's been finding that more and more people are finding the value in hiring somebody to save them time and effort in transferring content or setting up a new website. So he's been taking on a number of projects like that. He's also been working on Rasa as well. Rasa being his new website design. And uh, he's working on the components for that. Working on getting his webcast series that he's going to be starting up here in the next week or so, where he'll be talking about the different user experience and uh, search engines, how they look at these components. Uh, that he's building out for the Rasa template. Over in the code labs, this week has all been about Accelerator. So Accelerator, if you've watched any of our you know, weekly webcasts here, you will know that Accelerator is our brand new website plugin. What you may not realize is that it is the most complex and involved product that we've ever developed. It is uh, incredible the in amount of stuff that we had to put under the hood in order to make this plugin. Why? Well, Accelerator takes a look at all of the recommendations of the Google PageSpeed Insights tool. Google PageSpeed Insights is a tool that was developed by Google to tell and help inform webmasters what they can do to speed up their websites. Because, you know, that last thing I was talking about, you want to make sure your website is you know, blazing fast. And all other things considered equal, if your competition has a really fast website, it's got a high, high uh, Google PageSpeed score, and you don't, chances are they're going to get a better ranking than you. So you want to make sure that, you know, you've, you've got a high Google PageSpeed score. Right? Well, that's what Accelerator is designed to do. See, what was happening is that we were getting, you know, all these requests to, you know, go through a website and make sure that it, you know, implemented all the rec recommendations that Google PageSpeed Insights said that we should be looking at. And, you know, it's time and time, you know, it's, it's very predictable, the things you need to do, but it's, it's also technically difficult and um, time consuming. So we thought, wouldn't it be great if we had a tool that just automatically did all this stuff? And we thought, yeah, wouldn't it be great if we had a robotic butler that brought us coffee every day? Well, we don't have a robotic butler that brings us coffee every day. But what we do have is Accelerator. Yes, 10 weeks of heavy development. And we are thrilled to announce that it is now available. It was launched yesterday. And this thing is crazy. So much complexity beneath the hood. Think of it like this, there's two sides to the coin. There is the, the back end of it, the, sorry, like under the hood, and then there's the simple uh, implementation for you, the user. So yeah, the thing with Google PageSpeed Insights is that these things are like complicated to do. And so we wanted to simplify that because that's the idea, right? And save time boatloads of time. So Accelerator, what does it do? Okay, watch this. It defers render blocking JavaScript and CSS. So it speeds up the initial loading of your HTML. But when you do that, you get what's called a flash of unstyled content. So you get like a uh, you know white background and black text and it doesn't look good until your CSS finally loads. So when you do that, you have to automatically, you have to insert critical CSS, what's called the above the fold CSS. But I haven't been able to find any tool out there that actually does that. 
So we had to build one. And so our system automatically builds your critical above the fold CSS for every page in your site. Also, it automatically minifies every single HTML page, CSS file, and JavaScript file. Basically, it, it takes all the white space and comments and on the fly, it compresses your pages, basically. Now, you could do this by yourself manually. You could take your, all your web pages, all your CSS, upload them to a minification service of some sorts, and then re-download them, and then put them up to your website, and always keep a backup copy of your website, because once a page has been minified, you, you can't edit it with Dreamweaver or Expression Web, because it strips all that stuff out. And that's a pain in the butt. It takes time. And so anytime that you make a small change to your, your web page, be it you know, a copyright line or a telephone or a menu change, you have to reminify your entire site. Well, not with Accelerator. It just does it on the fly. None of your pages are actually changed, so you can re-upload and make changes all you like. Okay? What else does it do? Oh, it automatically optimizes your images for you. It was fine back in the day when, you know, you had four images on your website. You know, it's easy to compress those images. Well, the system actually automatically uh, optimizes your images through what's called the Tiny PNG API system. It's pretty slick. It just does it automatically. What else does it do? Oh, it enables gzip compression on your server. And I wish I had a sixth finger here. Here we go. And it also leverages browser caching. These are all the core things that Google PageSpeed Insights says, you know, that you're going to need to tackle in order to... Uh, you know, get a good score. In fact, you probably only need to like three or four of those things to get a great score. Um, but we do all of that with Accelerator, basically. And so that's the complex stuff that happens under the hood. The simple aspect of things. Now, if you haven't watched our tour video yet, recommend going to i3dthemes.com. Uh, look for a little red. Oh, where am I? A little red button like that. A little badge on our homepage. You know, go to the landing page for Accelerator and. You know, there's going to be a link to view the tour. Take a look at that. It basically just shows you how easy it is. You basically turn it on, and you uh, you know, set up a couple configurations, and then within minutes, the site has built your critical CSS, and you are now scoring great. You're scoring way better than you ever did before. Now. Accelerator, are we are we promising 100% on every page? Nah, it's pretty hard to get 100%. You might get in the 90s, mid 90s on some of your pages. I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to guarantee you're going to get 85% or better. You're going to be in the green, just like in high school. You're aiming for an A, right? Wouldn't that be great if you had a 4.0 GPA for your website speed? Well, we we believe that you can with Accelerator. You're going to get a 4.0. How deep into the what we call the green, if you're rated 85% or above in Google PageSpeed Insights, you get a, you're in the green, basically. How deep into the green? We'll see. Every web page and every website is different. So we're going to be looking for feedback and, and you know raising the bar as time goes on as we get more and more data about how websites respond to all of this. But we're going to be guaranteeing that 85% or above. And, um, you know, 10 hard weeks of development and we're you know thrilled to say yesterday december 1st it is now available so for the month of december what we are doing because we really want you guys to get your website scoring good uh until december 31st we're uh, making an accelerator available for uh, a special launch price we're going to be giving you a hundred dollars off until december 31st for the single site license and to give you an idea, you know, try to encourage you to get your website, you know, throw, strap on the rocket boosters and, um, and get your website, you know, scoring awesome in Google PageSpeed Insights. You're going to see a huge improvement on your page, uh, you know, load and, and render time. Anyways, that's it for me. We're going to be taking the weekend off. It's been, it's been busy. But uh, we will see you again next week. And we'll be talking to you again next week. We're going to be doing another weekly website plug-in featurette on Wednesday where we will be sort of recapping the accelerator, hopefully in 
under 250 words or less. We're going to try to keep it short this next time, but there you go. So have a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining me, and we will see you again next week.